What do you got for us at E3? Talk to us all about the refreshes and what's going on. Yeah, so um, we've been bringing all of our mice up to the standard of the Hero 16K sensor. So mm -hmm. it's the new flagship sensor. Um, it's got great performance improvements, and it's also 10 times more power efficient. Wow. Which is great for wireless mice, as you know. Of course. Uh, we had the Pro Wireless and then the 502 Lightspeed, and now we've updated uh, three of our more popular mice, 403, 703, and 903. Exciting. I'm a big seven, uh, 403 guy. I was waiting for that 703, but that weight difference. Yep. So Give me the specifications, right? From the 903, what's different from the old version? Yeah, so um, like I said, one of the big benefits besides the performance increase is the fact that it uses a lot less energy. Mm -hmm. So for a 903, people really like that shape and weight, so we right. decided to keep everything the same but use that efficiency to dramatically increase battery life. How dramatic? 24 hours to 140 hours of battery life, How which is insane. Is that? That, uh, so we actually calculated it. Really? It's longer than you would last in the desert without water. So, okay, so it, that's a great statistic. It can outlive a human, you know? Wonderful. All right, so let's talk about the 703, right? It was 112 grams previously with your uh, previous wireless technology. What do you got now? Yeah, so uh, one of the things about the 703, people love that shape, but right. uh, the trend right now is people like lighter mice. We're going towards lighter and lighter and lighter. With Hero, that's one of the things we can do is make the battery smaller, still keep the battery life better. So mm -hmm. we got 50% improved battery life to 36 hours, nice. and we reduced the weight by 12 grams. Okay. It's amazing. Is this all only possible because of the Hero sensor? Yeah, it is. So Lightspeed Wireless was the first big innovation that gave us that connectivity, and then right. we've really been trying to improve the quality of life differences around the mice. So, you know, uh, weight reduction through the thin wall design, mm -hmm. through the, the battery savings from Hero, and all, th all sorts of things like that have really dramatically improved the experience with our gaming mice. Impressive. So now the 403 as well just got the Hero sensor as a refresh. Are there any other changes we need to be aware of? No. So, um, again, you know, 403 is one of those super popular shapes, and it's right. one of the remaining wired mice that we offer um, because we do know that there are still holdouts out there that yeah. don't want the, the wireless connection. Um, but you know, Hero has got a wider DPI range, it's got better tracking accuracy, it's mm -hmm. the highest performing sensor. Um, it's also automatically adjusting. So depending on the surface and use case, you know, it's going to tune itself to be the best tracking it can be. Interesting. So oh, yeah. if do you, this is like a weird crossover question, right? If you're sure. using your mouse with uh, the Hero sensor in it on a glass surface, does it take time to adjust to, say, a rubber mat, or would it adjust pretty immediately? So glass is the only surface we suck at. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, uh, you know, we do make other mice on the productivity side for right. those, like, hotel rooms that have those glass yeah, tables. Yeah, that's literally <laughs> the use case scenario yeah. talking about. <laughs> yeah. It's called the dark field sensor, I and it see. uses a third lens to try and capture that other angle. Um, we don't use that for gaming because it's actually not that great for gaming tracking. Mm -hmm. um, but every other surface, you're going to have that sort of adjustability in the liftoff distance, the lens, you know, intensity and brightness and all that. Yeah. Um, and that's really how Hero sort of adjusts itself to track better. All right, Andrew, yeah. so what's the rest of your E3 been like, right? How's your week been so far? It's amazing. Uh, it, it was a little hot here in L.A. the past couple <laughs> days, um, but we had the heat wave all up and down California, so yeah. I would have experienced it at home. But, uh, yeah, the show's been amazing. I mean, Final Fantasy VII, we have the Cyberpunk 2077. We mm -hmm. had that amazing Microsoft press conference. Yeah. You know, who doesn't love a uh, good Keanu sighting? A you good know? <laughs> Keanu sighting. What's been your highlight, I want to say, like your top moment from the week? You know, I think it's um, being here and talking to everybody in person, you know. Uh, E3, PAX, and CES are really the shows where I get to meet people in person like yourself and hang out. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, that's really been nice. And we also get to showcase everything hands-on. It saves a lot of time, and it also really yeah. allows us to connect, you know, a little bit more effectively. So that's been my favorite part about the show. Absolutely. Andrew Coonrad, thank you Dude. so much. It's been a pleasure to talk to you in person for the first time. Likewise. All right.